What's going down everybody, it's your boy Heck and today I'm going to show you some basic text effects that you can do in Photoshop. So what you're going to do first is open up Photoshop, like I have right here, I've created my canvas and everything. And now you want to select the text tool, make sure that your text is black, you can change it to black over there or whatever colour you want really. But I'm going to use black for this tutorial. And uh, you write in whatever you want, I'm going to write in mirror lake, because that's what I like to call this sort of text effect. effect. So let's just centre this up a bit. There we go. Now basically it's just sort of a mirror, uh, mirroring effect for your text. So if you've looked into the river before or something or a lake and seen your reflection, it's kind of based off that sort of idea. So first things we want to do is duplicate our mirror lake layer, press Control T on the top layer, right click our selection and we want to flip it vertically. So flip vertical and there we have it, it's been flipped and you want to bring it down to, you can either make it touch, that's fine if you want to make it touch like that. But uh, I like to bring mine just a little bit off of it and press enter around there. That seems pretty good. Now what we want to do is we want to make a layer mask. So we're going to add a layer mask to the top layer, which is this bottom one right here. And then we want to select our paintbrush. Make sure black is selected as the main. And we want to make sure that we've selected a feathered edge brush uh, in order to do this. So we've done that. Uh, click around this area. Hold down shift and then just drag it across and you'll get this little gradient of white sort of thing. Uh, what it's doing is erasing part of the uh, words right there as you can see on the layer mask. Black erases whatever's in the screen and white um, reveals it. So if you wanted to reveal a bit more you just change your color to white and you just do it back that way. And there we go, it's revealed it a bit more. But um, yeah, that's just the basic mirror lake effect I like to use every so often on some of my uh, photography that I've done, otherwise I like to use it on, um, oh well you can use it on pretty much anything, you can use it on um, thumbnails, you can use it on uh, YouTube backgrounds, whatever you want, it's just a cool little effect I like to add to some of my images. Okay so next, the next effect I'm going to show you is called the overgloss, which is pretty much everyone should know about the overgloss, but um, I thought I'd show it anyway, so let's just call this layer overgloss, there we have it. Center that up like we did the other layer. And basically what the overgloss is, is you hold down control, you select this part of your layer where the box is, click on the T, and it'll select the whole layer that you've um, got image on. So once that's done, you select the elliptical tool, or you can select the rectangular uh, marquee tool. Uh, I like to use the um, circular one just because you get this sort of effect to it. Okay, let's bring that up like that, around there, seems pretty good. Next you want to select the gradient tool, change the main gradient to white, make sure that it's set to from white to transparent, and then you want to create a new layer on top of overgloss. Click to around the area where it starts, drag it up a little bit, and boom. There we go, we've got a really white overgloss there, which um, you can alter by turning down the opacity a bit. So I like to leave mine around ooh, 25, 25 to 35 seems pretty good most of the time. And that's just a basic on how to overgloss some of your text. So you can also do it with the rectangular tool, same process, but um, it'll end up with a straight line instead of a curved line. So um, that's the overgloss tutorial. Uh, the next one we're going to do is, it's pretty much, it's not really a text effect, but um, I like to do it on some stuff. It just adds a little bit more depth to the text. So what we're going to call this one is fader. We're going to center this up like we did the other layers and basically what you do with this one is pretty much the same so you just select uh, select this and duplicate the fader layer drag it to the bottom this time uh, press command T and drag out the corners while holding alt and shift to keep a proportion and you want it to be around that area and now you want to go to filter blur Gaussian blue uh, this type layer must be rasterized before proceeding. Its text will no longer be editable. Rasterize the type. Okay, that's fine with me. And uh, it really comes down to what you want for this part. So um, you just need to blur it to however you want it. I like to keep mine sort of blurry-ish. And um, usually this text effect works better on a um, colored background. So um, maybe not with black. Maybe with white would have been better. So maybe I'll just change this background to black. And uh, I'll change the text to white, so let's change that to there. And this is another effect, you can have it like that, and you can just turn down the opacity a bit and have that little fader fade in. That's pretty good like that. Otherwise you can keep it at um, the maximum, and uh, let's just rasterize this text layer. Press Command-I, 
and turn that one to white. So it's pretty much just fiddling with this one, but it's a cool little effect I like to add in the corners of imagery of stuff. So you can bring it down over here. It's just a little effect that you can use um, when I, mostly I use it with photography stuff. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much the only time I ever use it. And uh, yeah, it's just a cool little fader effect. And uh, I reckon it's pretty good. So if you want to use any of these tutorials, feel free. Um, or any of these text um, stylings, feel free. Uh, I didn't go into blending options because everyone can use blending options. It's pretty much just double click and you can add a drop shadow, you can add whatever you want. Um, these are pretty much just text effects without using the blending option. So there's heaps of other options in here. It'll give you heaps of other text effects. If you want me to do a couple of text effects inside the blending, blending options, I can do that, but I'll do that in a different tutorial. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to hit that like button if you liked it, favorite, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Um, There'll be more tutorials out soon. If you want a recommended tutorial that I could teach you how to do or do something you want to learn how to do, leave a comment in the comment section below. And uh, I'll have speed art coming out very soon, maybe a week. I'll have the actual video ready to come out. I'm probably going to do something, a little Minecraft theme, but I was thinking of doing something like that because um, I'm going to start uploading a little more to my gaming channel. Um, I know I said I wouldn't upload for a while, but I don't know, things happen, stuff happens, and uh, I just felt like uploading some more Minecraft. So I'm going to be doing Minecraft on my gaming channel. I probably won't do anything else but that. Uh, maybe a bit of Cube World, I'm not too sure. And uh, I'm going to, yeah, that's I'm going to leave on that note because I'm not going to talk too much about my gaming channel on my graphics channel. So uh, there'll be an annotation on that side of the screen that'll lead you to my Instagram tutorial. Um, I hope, once again, I hope you guys liked the video. Favorite, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.